Welcome back, this is Butler Scoople with more Let's Play Pokemon Leaf Green. I'm joined as always by Dumpus and his ever-growing Pokemon squad of Templar, Rumpus, Fuzimi, Nibbler, Samja, and Pieri. When we last left off, we made it to this Pokemon Center in the middle of Route 10. As you can see, there is a trainer down there, easily avoidable if you have cut, and by this point in the game, you should, if you went on the SSN. Uh, you can quickly avoid it. That's not the reason that I am cutting this tree down though. Uh, I do have Nibbler just for this though. If we look here, you can get a super potion hidden item that is in all versions of the game. So feel free to do that. Just easily bypass that trainer down there. Also, we passed this little patch of grass where I can find new Pokemon. This is Route 10. I didn't even get into a fight on Route 10. So let, let's see what we can find here. Also, there's water up here. This is going to be important later. Keep this in mind. I, I might show you how to get back here later. So let's talk about availability on this patch of grass for the time being. Uh, the most common enemy that I will find here is a Voltorb. Hey, look who showed up. Voltorb will be your second uh, electric type that is available to you and the first common one so this will be many players first electric types I do love electricity in this game Voltorb is not the best though not the best I'm gonna still try to catch it though it is insanely fast if memory serves me correctly ooh, it does have soundproof I did not remember that if memory serves me correctly with uh, Voltorb its evolution electrode is the fastest Pokemon in the game at least in this, uh, in Generation 1, it is. But I can't put it to sleep with Sing. That's going to be an issue. Let's go with Pound. Uh, if you don't, that's actually going to be good enough. Uh, Voltorb is, is pretty easy to catch. Uh, if you don't encounter a Voltorb, uh, the next most common one is a Spearow in, in this version of the game. And then... Uh, Sandshrew will show up in Leaf Green, Ekans will show up in Fire Red, and then there's a very rare Mankey that will show up in both of those versions of the game. Let's throw a Pokeball at it and hope for the best. We'll put the Pokeball in the Pokeball and hope for the best. Hey, it worked! That puts me at what, like 14 for 14? Something ridiculous? No, it's not 14 yet. Wasn't it just 12? So I think that's 13. Or 12. 12 or 13, and I haven't missed one yet. But I did get Voltorb. It is an urban Pokemon because it looks like a Pokeball. It's only a, f well, it's about a foot and a half tall. Uh, for those of you that are European, I should probably start translating these. Uh, that's about a half a meter, a little bit less than a half a meter, and it weighs about uh, 10 kilograms or 23 pounds. Uh, usually, found in power plants, easily, easily mistaken for a Pokeball. It has zapped many people. Yeah, it also explodes all the damn time. If you were playing uh, red, blue, and yellow, of course, the, the availability here changes. There are still Voltorbs here in red and blue, but they're not as common. Uh, if you're playing yellow, it'll be a Magnemite. There's, there's a reason why there are electric uh, Pokemon here, but we won't go over that for a while. Uh, in red, blue, and uh, yellow, there are uh, Rattas and Spearows that will be here. Uh, in yellow, there are Nidorans as well. Both male and female will be here. Uh, red has Ekans. Blue has Sandshrew. Yellow has a very rare Machop, actually. Kind of weird, but there it is. Give a nickname to the captured Voltorb? Of course I will! As suggested by Insanity Force, this is going to be Cube, uh, which he tells me is a reference to an SNES Japanese RPG that was only released in Japan, but is definitely on my radar. I, I don't know the name of it. It To me, it just says live a live, but it could be live a live. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Of course, they stylize the name so it looks like live a evil, but th it's definitely on my radar. I have not played it yet. Cube, though. Cube is going to go into uh, the PC, and it's quite an interesting name considering that it's definitely a spear. Uh, but uh, we are not done trying to catch Pokemon for the time being. We need to go into uh, the rock tunnel here. Uh, but 
just in case I get insanely lucky here. Uh, let's switch my Pokemon around. Uh, we'll put uh, Pierre out front. Just in case. Once again, I get very, very lucky. I'm not expecting this. Uh, but let's go into the Rock Tunnel, my least favorite dungeon in all of Pokemon, because this is the reason that we need Flash. As you can see, it is very dark in here. You could maneuver around this area without flash, but it is not recommended, and I'm not going to be doing that because it's not very entertaining. I'm just running around until I get into a fight, as you might expect, with a Zubat. 90% chance of a Zubat showing up here. Uh, I was hoping that I would get an encounter with either a Machop or a Mankey, but considering how low of a chance those are of showing up, I'm not too surprised. Uh, I don't really want to catch another Zubat, to be honest with you. I'm still trying to be convinced that I want to use my original Zubat, so I'll give it a shot. I'll give it a shot. I could always use more Zubats. Why not? It's just a Pokeball, possibly. I'll give it a shot, but uh, there is also a rare, rare chance that an Onyx will show up here, uh, but like I said, rare, so don't count on it too much. That is, of course, for these versions of the game. Oh, it's actually tankier than I thought. Either that or, well, probably Pierre just doesn't have a very good uh, attack stat. I don't want to risk a headbutt. I just, I just want to catch it. I don't want to kill it. It goes for Astonish, which is super effective, uh, but it doesn't do all that much. All right, Hypnosis landed twice for me. I will take it. I will take that. All right, fell asleep again. Oh, what am I doing? No, throw a ball at it. We will throw a ball at the Zubat. Sure, why not have another Poison Flying type? You know, it was occurring to me recently that there's no such thing in this game as a pure flying type. And I believe they don't even bother doing that until like Generation 5 and one of the legendaries do it. And that's still the only pure flying type. Everything else is flying is secondary. I always thought that was kind of weird once, once I thought of it. All right, give a nickname to the captured Zubat. Indeed, I will. As suggested by Daniel Solomon, this is going to be Dan the Man. And my streak of never losing a Pokeball continues. I still want to go over that graphic at some point. All right, let's just get out of here for the time being. As you can see, the tree magically grows again. I'll just cut my way through it, and, and we will deal with the... Uh, that trainer in a bit. So now that I have three new Pokemon to show off, uh, let me go get them all in my party so I can at least show you guys uh, their stats and, and stuff like that. Grab the Pokemon out of the box. Let's take a look at them. I also brought out Bebo so I could compare him to Dan the Man. Or sorry, compare her to Dan the Man. Now I have a breeding pair of Zubats, just what I always wanted. All right, let's take a look at Ruckus first. Ruckus is jolly. Uh, that will increase Ruckus's speed, but lower special attack, which is honestly fine. Lowering the special attack is perfectly understandable for a ground Pokemon. It's not like Ruckus had a good special attack by any means anyway. Uh, so, jolly, not bad. Its ability is Sand Veil. It ups evasion in a sandstorm. It is actually up by 20%, uh, which is not all that much considering, especially since a sandstorm is rare and usually requires a Pokemon's move to initiate. So we probably won't be seeing very much use out of that ability no matter what. As you can see though, its attack and defense are pretty damn big. They're double the special attack and special defense. And speed, not so great. What would you expect from a mole? Do they actually say what it is? Well, it's technically a shrew, I guess. Uh, it's got pretty stupid moves to start. It's got scratch, uh, defense curl, and sand attack to start. Not a big fan of a lot of those, but understandable at level 15. We might have to work that up for the time being though. I'm going to stick with Fuzimi. Fuzimi will stay out front should Fuzimi fall due to pretty much being hit once. Uh, Ruckus will probably take over that spot uh, and will probably be tankier. 
it does have much better regular defense uh, than than Fuzimi. Arguably, though, one of the better ground types. I prefer a different one, to be honest with you. All right, let's take a look at Cube. As you can see, Cube has no gender. It is an electric type. It is bashful, uh, which does nothing. It is one of the four uh, natures that doesn't increase or decrease any stats. Uh, but it's an electric type, which is always good. Always good. If, as you can see, though, it is soundproof, uh, which will avoid all sound-based move. I, I was unaware of that, otherwise I wouldn't have sang to it. Uh, there aren't very many sound-based moves out there. I think even today it's still probably around a dozen moves or so. Uh, so it's not necessarily that great of a move. Plus, I'm sure the AI has it scripted so that when they see a Voltorb out there, they will know not to use sound-based moves. And I wasn't that smart. As you can see though, uh, the, the big purpose of having a Voltorb is the speed. The speed stat is insane, especially for level 16. Uh, special attack and special defense are okay. Regular defense is pretty good as well, uh, but ultimately uh, this is not going to be a, a very powerful Pokemon. It will end up just kind of falling off at the end. It's got great speed though. As you can see, we do have a, a new move here. It is called Charge. The user charges power to boost the electric move it uses next, which would be great if I had an electric move to use next. Outside of that, I have Tackle and Screech. Uh, Screech is actually not that bad of a move. An ear, an ear splitting Screech is emitted to sharply reduce the foe's defense. Uh, once again, it does it by two stages, so I kind of like it, but then again, it is lowering uh, the opponent's defense, so it's not that great. It's roughly equivalent to one move uh, increase on your side. Of course, there's a lot of calculations into that, but, you know, give or take. Uh, then we have Sonic Boom. The foe is hit with a shockwave that always inflicts 20 HP worth of damage. Not my favorite move, to be honest with you it always does 20 damage. So, doesn't have that great of moves to start. I may work on Q behind the scenes, uh, but I'm definitely not going to bring it along in my main party. I'm going to shelter uh, the cube for the time being because it's an electric. And like I said, electric is my favorite type after Psychic in this game. And unfortunately, I'm not gonna have access to my favorite po electric Pokemon in this game uh, due to uh, the Nuzlocke no gift rules. And unevolving as well, to be honest with you. Uh, and that's, let's take a look at Dan the man. We've already seen a Zubat. We see lots of Zubats, poison flying. It has an impish nature, which, where is impish? There it is, will lower its defense or sorry, no, will increase its defense, but will decrease its special attack. So higher defense, lower special attack. Uh, not necessarily the best, but hey, more defense is more defense. I'm not really going to be using too much special attack with uh, Zubats anyway. So it's it's good, but it's not the, the best. Inner focus again, we have seen, and then all of these we have seen as well. Bite is is really what you want on a Zubat. He's already got it. Uh, by comparison, let's take a look at Bebo, because I don't remember what uh, nature you had. You had a Timid nature, which... Where's Timid? Increases speed at the, at the expense of attack. So in my opinion, I would say Impish is actually better, uh, because I'm always using attack on Bebo. And I'm not with... Well, I would be with Dan the Man as well, so I might level up Dan the Man and, and replace Bebo eventually. But for the time being, I think I'm going to leave them both behind. Uh, let me rearrange my party. Actually, I don't think we've talked to people in here. So let's talk to the people in the Pokemon Center before we do anything. A nugget is totally useless, so I sold it for 5,000 Poke Dollars. Really? Useless? 5,000. One of these things does not add up. 
the types of Pokemon match up differently with each other. Every type is stronger than some and weaker than others. That's not necessarily true. The way that he phrases it is wrong. Uh, each, every type is stronger than some types and weaker than others. That implies that there's kind of like a hierarchy of types. And although I will say that Psychic is at the top, everything else is... Is, is pretty basic you know it's kind of like a rock paper scissors type thing it's not a clear cut you know rock is always going to be better than i don't know steel you know what i mean it, it doesn't work that way oh dump is i've been looking for you it's me one of the ever present aides to professor oak if your pokedex has complete data on 20 species i'm supposed to give you a reward from professor oak he entrusted me with this everstone everstone would be very useful for me personally uh, but it's not going to be something that i can get for the time being and everstone will prevent evolution you will stay forever as whatever pokemon you are ever stone i would probably give this to any one of my Pokemon that just normally evolve, but really I'm going to be cutting out all the evolution things anyway after the first one. So, Dumpus, let me ask you, have you gathered data on at least 20 kinds of Pokemon? Totally! Let's see. Uh-oh, you have caught only 14 types of Pokemon. You need 20 kinds if you want the Everstone. Uh, if I had allowed evolution, I probably would have that 20 by the time that we made it here. I heard that ghosts haunt Lavender Town. There's no such things as ghosts. And even if they were, I'm sure they're terrible. Let me rearrange my party and then we will venture forth into the rock tunnel. Let's see who I want to give Flash. Rearrange my party as necessary. Not too much in terms of changes. I do have Fuzimi out front for what's going to happen next. I brought Mandrake in instead of Nibbler because Nibbler couldn't learn Flash, but Mandrake could, so I'm kind of hoping even more now that Tomja does not die, because then my backup to him knows Flash as one of its four moves. I got rid of Growth, I believe, because I wouldn't be using that too often. Let's head over here! I've been out at a Pokemon gym a few times. Did you win? But I always lose. Then how the hell did you get here? You can't use cut outside of battle. And then how'd you get on this freaking route? All right, Picnic or Heidi would like to fight. Uh, she has a Pikachu out front. So I have Fuzimi out front again. My electric, just absolute destroyer. All right, Magnitude. Magnitude 8 will take out Pikachu. No question about it. None whatsoever. And I got a critical just in case Pikachu was not sure that I absolutely kicked its ass. How Fuzimi was through a magnitude being underground and all that, I'm not entirely sure, but whatever. All right, Clefairy coming out. I will change. Uh, the Rumpus does need some work. So Rumpus is going to go out front. We have seen Clefairy before. It is just a normal type in this version. They did obviously make Clefairy a fairy type later on, but that is not this time. For now, let's use a Karate Chop. And down goes Clefairy. Easy enough. And down goes Picnic or Heidi. Oh, after all my training. Yes, after all your rigorous training with your two Pokemon. I noticed some Pokemaniacs prowling around. Can you imagine them up here in the mountains? She's trying to tell you that there's not just going to be rock trainers in the rock tunnel. In fact, the rock tunnel is very long and I'll probably have to do it in several uh, goes. I, I probably won't be going through in just one go, unfortunately. Let's find ourselves some berries. So, no, wait, right there. You can clearly see it. Here is a cherry berry. Once again, berries do not grow in this region of the world. And over here we can find a person berry. I believe we have gotten both of those before. All right, let's head into the rock tunnel. This is gonna take me a few times through, I think. I'm, I'm gonna have to back out of it a couple times, most likely. All right, let's use Mandrake's flash ability. And as a result, we are able to see what the hell's going on around here, which is always nice. Plus, there are fights with Machops. Machops do show up around here. I never did go availability in uh, the original versions of the game. Here you will find Zubats very common. Uh, Machops are actually pretty common here as well. 
and then uh, onyxes are uh, common here too, uh, but only in red and blue on this floor. And then uh, Geodude, very common as well, but not in this version. That makes me so mad. All right, unfortunately, I don't have a poison move, uh, so I can only kind of tank it. So let's just go for a Razor Leaf and hope for the best. It should not do too much damage. That was a critical hit. That was kind of pathetic. Uh, we'll, we'll just tackle it to death. Hopefully that'll do enough. Yeah, down goes the chop. That's a, that's a good fighting type to have, and a lot of people prefer it if you can get it up to the max evolution, uh, which would be Machamp, but you need to be able to trade to do that, so I wouldn't necessarily recommend it. I always like the, the man key line much better. More Zubats!